What's going on, Sneaker Fam? It's your boy Jay back with another real and fake review, man. And I already see it right here, man. It's the Air Jordan 4 Infrared. You know what I mean? You see here, this is the fake one. You know what I mean? That's the legit one right there. One is a nine and a half. That's the legit one from Sneakers app. And this one's a size 12, my personal size. And the start right here. Look at the boxes, two different colors. Legit left side, fake on the right side. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna go end up switching them around because I don't like having a fake on this side uh, for some strange reason. But anyway, the fake is here and the boxes are the same size. Usually you know the boxes on the legit pairs are bigger than the, uh, than the fakes, especially when it's a size 12. So you see the nine and a half is the same size as that size 12 so this is my uh size 12 uh, military black and you can see that legit you can see that size difference you can get that right there so yeah how about that that's a little better right upside down upside down you see that box size difference so these guys are using nine and a half boxes so they can ship them, you know? Get this box out of my way now. Let me stack you right here. Ah. All right, so without further ado, let's get it going. All right, so we got box size, color. There's no sticker up here at the bottom. See that here? Spin it around, take a look at the label. Of course, legit, nine and a half. There's no price tag. Fake, how's the price tag at uh, buck 90? And we all know the prices were all over the place from 190 or 189 all the way up to 210. So that's why Nike has been doing this thing here. No price tag anymore, so it can be random. I just switched the boxes around. So you have the speckled paper. The fake size 12. This paper is a little thicker and less translucent. And this one here is more translucent. Uh, there's an extra paper in here. And is there a YDM? There is no YDM. There is nothing in the retail box. Let's pull out the shoes. It's in here. Boom, boom. And let me tell you something, it's fake. I looked at it earlier, it's amazing. So the fake has the YDM sticker. Does it have that extra paper here? No, but it has all of this crap in here, right? All right, so fake, size 12, boom, all right. Woo. There's certain things I can't do because it's a nine and a half, like weighing them, but uh, boom. All right, so what do we see here? Oh, I think I moved my, what do we see here? Uh, different color tone. And that's all I can really notice, like from off the bat, the toes you really can't say because they do two different sizes and they do vary uh, to an extent. Um, look at that. Fake is right here. Toe box, that leather cut, and the material. They're two different colors. Let's take a look at the jump man's on the tongue. I will turn on this ring light and see if that will help. No, that's not gonna help. I'm gonna turn it off so you can see a better natural color here. I think that infrared is a different, just the slight, it's a slight color tone difference with the infrared. The, the legit pair, which is here, it's a bit darker. It's a bit darker and I'm gonna drop this down a little bit. Drop that down. It's a tad bit darker. 
if you can see that. And then, of course, even though they're two different sizes, the stars on the sole. Take a look at the back. We really can't go by the back. They're two different sizes, but that undercut, yeah, you can see these are two different materials here in the back. Check that out. Fake, legit, two different colors of Jumpman. Two different colors on that, uh, the gray is lighter on the fake. Let me turn this light on. I was just gonna dim it a little bit. Help with that color. That's more of a natural look there. So you can see that there. Go behind the tongue. Yeah, definitely a different type of infrared on here. Uh, let's pull out the shoe tree. This is die cut sock line in here. Wow, I got an old, old school shoe tree in here. Interesting. And shout out to my boy Sneaker Level 83. He's the one that hit me up with these Fugazi size 12s. I pulled out the insole on this one already. So we can take a look at that one. Uh, before I do that, we're going to take a look at the netting. And the material on the tongue. Definitely the grays are darker on the darker and richer on the legit pairs. Look at that. That's with the lighting. The laces are a bit different as well. Take a good look at the laces. Take a look at the opening. Take a look at the opening here. And the netting pattern. Let's see how this netting feels here. See how it feels, have that rubbery feel to it. This one, not as much. It's more of a hard plastic, not as flexible. So if you're legit checking, legit checking purposes, and there's definitely, ah, okay, check this out. There's a hard, there's a hard piece of material behind the netting right here on a legit pair hard piece of canvas right here right behind the netting on the fakes i don't feel that it's not there it's not there and that netting is really hard uh we're gonna take a look at the air unit air unit's a bit cloudy you can see that from here this is the fake pair just a bit let's take a look at the legit pair looks cloudy and dirty as well is they're not uh, on the fakes they're not as pitted as they used to be they used to be really really bad really really bad nothing you can check on these is like this union here this is the legit pair and how that compares oh gosh who the heck is hitting me on whatsapp i gotta put my phone on silent here uh, it's 640 in the morning and I need to get ready for work and uh, I'm doing this video for y'all. I should have done this last night uh, But after I got home from work, I was super super tired I just ate dinner and it's like that I just got me so I was gone. That was it so Sometimes people check here with this The stitch line here and how it curves down but I don't really see anything that wrong here, especially with it being two different sizes. I can't really say, but definitely this material back here is gone. And this and this one here is a little bit more of a of a has a little bit more give, but not as much as the retail pair. I mean, that right there just might do it. Um, let's read off these production dates right quick. This is a fake pair, and we have. Ba, 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 it is. 61521, 11621. And then we have on a legit pair, 
9121 to 11722. Interesting. Let's take a look at the bottom right quick. Legit pair, size nine and a half. We're 10 minutes in. And like I said, there's certain things I can't do, which is, if I, if I didn't say it already, is weighing them. All right. Let's check the structural rigidity of the shoe. Yeah, it's more solid on the, on the retail pair. Ah. All right, so this is the insole here. Let's take a look. If I can pull this out. Oh, gosh. They've been gluing these things in. And um, this is not my pair. So I'm not going to do it. It's not my pair. I will be getting my legit pair. Shout outs to Shuby Bryant for securing that pair for me. I got huge problems right now. I had to shut down bank accounts and stuff like that, man. So put some of some some information. It's a mistake I made, man. So it is what it is. Um so no insole. I can't do the insoles, I'm sorry. But inside of here, you can see that that infrared is a lot richer. Just from here, you can see how dark and rich the infrared color is compared to the fake pair. All right, so feel. Yeah, new buck, new buck, dura buck, whatever you want to call it. So there's certain things I can't do. We're 11 minutes in. So I guess all we could do now is black light it. Uh, I did see something here now. Let me take a look at the tongues again here. You know, sometimes you can see, not from here, but when that stitch here, it would, it's not, it wouldn't be, it's not clean enough on these tongues, which you notice. You check this out. You can see, you can see that infrared coming up here. And on the on, on on the retail pair, you don't see it. Yeah, sometimes they mess up when they saw on these tongues. So you can always notice that. Legit checkup purposes. When you're wearing them, when someone's wearing this out in the public, this shoe right here, no one's gonna tell because no one's gonna say, "Hey man, your shoe is a different shade of gray." Man, I don't, I don't know. Only time you'll see that <laughs> is if someone with a legit pair is work, walking right next to you. And then you shouldn't be even be looking that hard if that's the case. So this is for legit checking purposes. I don't know what the resale prices are going on these, but you know what I mean? People buy what they want to buy, wear what you want to wear, man. Whatever your money uh, sees fit, whatever you see what's reasonable in your head. So let's black light these bad boys. Let me turn off this ring light. All right, so. Ah, ring light is off. Take a look at the Fugazi. So we got the flight glowing here. We have the laces glowing. Inside the air unit is glowing. And the infrared is glowing on the eye waffle eyelids. All right. Got the Jumpman Jordan glowing upside down. All the infrared is glowing under the black light and under the shoe. And legit pair. There's the trace line where they glue to make sure it's all lined up. You don't see that on the fake pair. Uh, is the infrared? There's infrared glowing, infrared glowing, the flight and the jump man. Laces are glowing. Uh, the stitching is glowing. I'm sorry, not the laces, the stitching. Up front is glowing. Arian's glowing, the infrared is glowing, everything in the insole. So everything seems to be just fine. That's some, oh, that's silica. That's what I hear. That's that silica pack that was in the fake pair um, that was making all that noise. There's a, a, a quality difference feeling this shoe. This feels really, really flimsy. Just keeping it 100 here. It does. All right. There be no Wayne. <laughs> so we're going to shut.
shut this video down. If you like what you seen, man, hey, like, hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this video circulating. You know what I mean? Hey, comment, man. See what you found that I did not find, man. You know what I mean? I'm not perfect. It's early in the morning. I'm tired and I got to get ready for work. So if something that I didn't catch, please do not hesitate to comment in the comment section, man. I definitely uh, would appreciate that. And if definitely if you like what I'm putting down, man, please don't hesitate to hit that. Uh, what's that thing again? It's that uh, uh, that super like or whatever that is, man. It's a donation button, man. I forgot. My bad. But it is what it is, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Jake signing out, man. Appreciate y'all. Peace.